What's good? I'm up on eight, man. You know, it's a lot to talk about in the story, man. Bobby Brown just lost his son today. Well, yesterday. It was today, man. You know, his son just passed away, man. It's kind of crazy, man. It's a lot of things that's crazy going on, man. You know. You know, so it seems it seem like it's just bad timing for most. You know, a lot of people losing their life. Almost at the end of 2020, you know, we almost there, you know, got one month to go, but people getting taken out, bro, you know, you know, by choices they make or choices that other people make for them, and they leave this earth young, bro, you know, R.I.P. to him, you know, I believe his name is Bobby Brown Jr., if I'm saying it correct. It's crazy, man. You know, it's crazy, but that's Hollywood. That's Hollywood do that, you know. And I ain't too much blaming Hollywood because I don't blame Hollywood for the decisions they make. You know, I just blame at the time. You know, you got you got to blame celebrity for the decisions they make. You know, the stuff that you participated in will lead up to the situations that people that they go through. You know, because it seems like celebrities lives or people they know around or related to, it's like they lives go much faster than the average individual that living on the streets, you know? Not, not physical living on the streets, but, you know, that's not a part of their, their community, you know? They they be going out, and, and, and they don't go out. Like, one, they go out in numbers. It's always three, four, five, six in a week or something, you know? Like, man, you like, damn. It's kind of crazy. So, well, I really want to be in that community, Hollywood. No, I don't think I'm okay, bro. I'm going to really take this, bro. My bad, but, you know, get your axe, you know. You know, I ain't getting paid for them, but I'm preparing myself one day. I'm going to be getting paid for these videos. So get your axe, man. Axe, man. It feel good. Not only did it feel good when it touch your body, but it smell good towards legs. Or males, whatever you into nowadays. You know, a lot of people since it been uh <laughs> I don't know I just did it. Uh, since it been uh uh the pandemic, you know, lockdown, people just, you know, taking a chance on everything. Fabuloso, bro, get your fabuloso and make your house smell good after you sweep the floor, you know. It's your fabuloso, just just a good kind, great kind, smell good kind. Once you touch your floor, you know, not only you had that glossy look, you know, when it's wet, but then it had that smell look. So when you open up your door, people don't smell feet and ass since you've been in there all day. And, you know, they smell the cleanness of your floor, you know. It's definitely good for a bathroom, man, huh? you know. I advertise the baby wipes, too, man. It's your baby wipes. You know? Well, not baby wipes. Well, we don't call it baby wipes, you know. It's good. Not only is it good for that ass, but it can be good to wipe that toilet when you're taking long flights, bro, and you don't trust the tissue, or you just happen to be in a stall that don't have a tissue, and you can just stick to yourself, hey, I got baby wipes in my bag, pull it out, wipe the torch, toss it out. you good, you know? But yeah, man, you know, hey, another little bit out of time. Now, yeah, I, now, I look, I'm not getting paid for this, but I'm preparing myself. Just in case it start happening, your boy is already ready. You know, get your ID at PM. You know, see if y'all can zoom. Let me push it closer to the camera so you can see it. ID at PM this is definitely good at night when you can't sleep at night. No, it's not a pill that you should be popping all the time, but you know, some of them nights, bro, when you got like like a toothache or you having a headache or anything. And you can barely sleep at night, man. These would be the best time to pop in during the night. And then at Tylenol, hey, they good to pop in during the day, bro, when you just stressed out, bro. Especially being at work for eight hours to ten hours a day. You're on your feet, man. You know, your fingers hurt, your head hurt, your back hurt. You know, all that stuff hurt. Just pop two a day, and you'll be straight, bro. You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying that's what I do. It helps out during the day, you know, especially when I'm doing some physical 24-7, you know, or pretty much at that time. Anyway, other news, bro. You know, what else is going on? Because we're going to go to Instagram. I, don't, I, I like using Instagram, but I don't like using my Instagram account because I'll be pulling up other people's pages and stuff like that. And some people be tripping, bro, you know. 
So uh, in other news, G Herbo, G Herbo, finally got a uh, PS5 thanks to your boy Twenty One Savage. You know, he posted a video, he made it. You can go check it out on my Instagram page or any other media social media page. People gonna have it. You know, if you want to check me out, I'm up on eight. You got a PS5. He ain't, he ain't crying no more. He ain't upset no more. His tummy don't hurt no more looking at his one, you know. So, thanks to 21 Savage, he got a PS5. Yeah, boy. So a lot going on with that PS5. Gucci Man in other news. Preparing himself for today, you know. He said, hey, if Young Jeezy, you know, after he ran down the hill, he said, hey, if Young Jeezy come down the hill, but he's coming down the hill. He said, Young Jeezy come with the same hat and the same shirt that he had on from the post. He posted in that video, bro. He said, I'm not rapping. And he walked off. You know. You know how it is. Uh, the baby dropped a new uh, music from his uh, album, man. You know, uh, dedicated to his brothers. You know, their life and stuff. As they grew up and stuff, you know. Uh, you know. And, uh, what is his name? It's Freddie. I don't want to, I don't want to. Freddie Gibbs, you know, uh, dropped a diss video, pretty much it'd be a, a day, today would be a day, he dropped a uh, diss video on the Young Jay-Z, pretty much explaining, not explaining, but not explaining, talking about, you know, saying that, how could you sit up here and do a verse, vital, a verse, a verse, virtual battle with someone who killed your mans, <laughs> you got a point with that, man. You know, he got a point. I, I, I couldn't even get mad at that. I felt like it was that was a strong video to post, bro. So I posted it, bro. Uh, another video is going on. Uh, well, uh, Snoop Dogg got a chi 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 a pack, you know, but I'm call it ha 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 pack, you know. You know, he got one of those uh, chi a pack dolls and stuff like that. Somebody made it for him, put his face on it and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to know what. Uh, uh, Ghost been at, you know, and the reason why the season haven't been started yet, uh, because Ghost is out here, uh, 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 uh I don't want to say, I'm, okay, I'm going to say this, advertising for, uh, flat belly, you know, he got one of the, y'all know how the bitches got, you know, they, they got that flat belly, the waist train. Okay, that's, that's what it is, thank you, God. It's a waist train that they put around their, they, they stomach, where well, Ghost, Got one, and he doing it for the man, for uh, miss ass man or other, and they can put on the waist trainers uh, throughout the day and stuff like that to wet, uh, you know, to slim and day curves during the day. That's how. That's why we haven't been seeing them on uh, ghosts. I don't uh, on uh, power. Not, I don't truly believe he dead, but he's truly, he definitely out here doing the waist trainer. You know. You can check that picture out on my page. I'm up on eight. Or if you want to donate cash out, you know, I know you barely don't know me like that. You know, you just start watching this, but this hey, is let's get it out now. You know, cash money sign, you know, cash out sign, you know, I'm up on eight, bro. I'm up. I am U P O eight. You know, uh what else? What else? What else? Uh Justin dropped a new video, uh showing her ass. You can go check that out, you know. You know, I, I just posted the ads video. I ain't feeling no reason to post on face, you know, like that. Uh, Tory Lane is doing a moonwalk back to uh, Megan and Stallion. I believe they're trying to work things out. They just ain't doing it in front of everyone, you know. But he did not shoot the girl, you know. The girl just happened to be the, the girl's moving up, bro. So it was, you know, Hollywood. Hollywood stays everything up to make it look good to follow Tory Lane's, bro. You know, it is what it is. You know, uh, boy, your boy Steve Harvey got this loud ass soup. He said he cooking in my soup. You go check that out on my post, man, on Instagram, bro. Check that out, bro. Check it out, bro. You know, he got an instrument, glass and blue soup. You know, it might be something else. The reason why he bought it, but to me, that's a bright ass sky blue suit he got on, bro. You know, he say cooking with friends, but I say cooking in my soup. You know, that's pretty much what was going on. Still don't know what's going on with Lil Wayne yet. They pretty much trying to say he was, uh, I'm sorry about the noise. They pretty much trying to say he's, he's charged by feds or possessed of a firearm and ammo, you know, in Florida. You know, you know, I don't know why. 
you know, but Florida messing with them right now. You know, I heard if you rich and black out there, bro, they're going to fuck with you, especially if you're in certain, certain parts, man. It's depending on where you at, they're going to fuck with you, man, you know. Like, it's like, you down that got to be in California, bro. You got down that be in a recognized state, black, that's rich, bro, that police don't fuck with you like that. But if you somewhere like in New York or Florida, bro, you're going to have problems, bro. Now, I'm not I'm not going to say everybody because some people respect the rules. You know, people that's from there, they got rich and got home, they know the rules, bro. If you're not from there and you going on there, you don't know the rules, bro, you're going to have a problem. Y'all, y'all might be looking at me, but he's from Louisiana. Louisiana is different from Florida, even though it's in the same. No, Florida. Let me look that up, bro. But anyway, y'all know what I'm trying to say, man. It's different. It's different rules everywhere, you know. You know, you know if you're in Miami, you ain't got no problem. And, you know, if you're outside of Miami, you might going to have a problem, bro, with the police, bro. Constant, 24-7, seven, seven days a week, bro. You know. Just like New York, bro. It's certain parts of New York. You black and you got money, bro. They're going to tense the fuck with you constantly, 24 7, seven days a week. Because they care, bro. You know, it's not stopping them yet. You know, stopping from doing what they're doing. That, bro, I don't want to talk about all this black shit because you got other media channels that talk about the black on black, black, everything. And I don't want to talk about that, bro. Because to me, especially, it's old. It's not worth it, bro. People are going to make it up in their mind whether if they're going to fuck with you or not, bro. You know, right now, bro, from when I be looking at my views and page, I don't know how many people best with me, bro, but it's not a lot, bro. I can pretty much count on my face. Who watch me and who don't watch me, you know? Some people watch the whole video through, some people don't. You know, it is cool, bro. I guess they want you to feel some way, you know? They want you to make the video pop and move and jump and all that, you know? It's cool, bro. I don't care, man. Other news, uh... I said not Tory Lane. Uh, sorry about that. Kevin Hart went to the Breakfast Club and he was talking about his daily life and he was talking about the uh, the man that looked like him in Zubawe or Zuba or whatever it is, bro. Somewhere in Africa. You know, uh, somebody want to correct me. I don't care. Uh, and it looked just like that when he was talking about that. But then I guess towards the end, from what I've been watching, I ain't watched the whole video, but. From what I've been watching on Instagram, bro, he was pretty much saying that he ready to retire. Sorry about that, man. You know, it's always something. Uh, you know how sometimes you want to touch your face because you feel like you're something there. Ain't nobody going to tell you that's up to him, man. Uh, pretty much he was saying that he want to retire from stand-up comedy. You know, and he want to move on and do greater things. He just said he don't want to be an angry old man. You know, when he couldn't enjoy the fruits of life, you know, you know, what got him there, you know, stuff like that, you know. Uh, me personally, I look at it like this, bro, you know, if he feel that way, he feel that way, you know. You know, me personally, I look at it like this, bro, he want to take the movie role more, uh, what's the word I was looking for? He want to take on, the, he want to take more on, on the movie role. Because I'm quite sure you're looking at Dwayne Johnson, and he's like, man, I don't know how. This big, swole neck, small ear, bald head, long legged, female, kneecap leg dude. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how he making it and getting in all these movie roles and the money, money he making. You know, and he not even a good actor. You know, that's so why I'm pretty sure he look like that. And that's pretty much what made him more, and more want to get into it. You know, this instead of the comedy because instead of instead of doing stand up. Cause let's think about it, bro. If you do more movie roles, you know, you make more money. You get more uh, notable across the world and stuff like that. And that's how, and that's how it is, you know. You get paid more because you could do a movie for like two days or a week or three days, you know, or a month. You can do a whole month, you know. If you do a whole month, bro, you get a couple millions coming in towards your way, bro. When you do stand-up comedy, you only get a couple thousand. Not a couple thousand. In his case... A couple thousand would be to him as close like to a hundred thousand or something like that, depending on the seats, you know, and then depending on the vendor, you know, because he's going to want to sell it out. But since he's been cold and stuff like that, he's not going to sell out how he used to sell out in 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, I believe, you know, 
I want to say 2015, but I think it's closer to 2016. You know, for them years he's been doing it, he's not going to sell out like how he used to sell out. But, you know, Kamahara look at the seats. If I get more seats, I, if I get, he don't look at the money. He look at the seats. If I get more seats in here, I make more money, and then I can set the price so I want. You know, but if I'm not getting more seats, and I'm going to get a few here and a few there, it's, it's not worth it. That's why he want to retire from stand-up comedy, bro, because he feel he can make more money doing movies than actually sitting, uh, standing, booking, trying to book a show, and then go through the regulations and stuff like that, you know, doing stand-up comedy and stuff like that. Even though at the end of the day, hey, it's his choice and everything, man, you know, people can do and choose what they want to do. But me personally, I say this, Kevin Hart, bro. Never forget where you come from. I'm not talking about Philly, bro. But never, never forget where you started off with, bro. You know, you gotta do. You know, I, I'm, I, you're gonna do what you gotta do regardless, anyway. You know, you know, just keep moving forward and just keep moving on life, bro. But you can't never forget what put you there in the beginning. You know, what what took you off like that and put you on a plane forward that you're on now, bro. You know, I don't know why this like is moving slow. I don't know. But yeah, bro, you know, but that's his choice. That's what he want to do. Who is me to talk about it? But hey, I got a YouTube channel. I want to talk about it, bro. You know, I feel like it's too early. Well, he say that he, he only 41. I think it's too early in the early stages of your life saying that you want to retire, bro. You know, now you can use the pandemic. I'm quite sure it's understanding. But you can use outside, too. You know, people will pay to come see. People will come across state lines or across the country to come see you bro you know if you make it happen bro and all you gotta do is do an hour you can make more money in an hour than making money four or five days or a week you know trying to do a movie you know because let's, let's be honest bro no matter what you do for hollywood hollywood is not going to respect you bro they gonna always want more you know at least you can always come back to copy see you can you gotta pick and choose you know, I'm not, you can't put more crap over here and less over here. But still, bro, if you balance both of them out, you'll be straight. You know, that comedy money ain't going to never go nowhere. You know, as long as, long as you can make people laugh and stand up comedy, it's not going to go nowhere. It's not going to go nowhere. You can always come back and uh, make money, you know. That's pretty much what Eddie Murphy did. Eddie Murphy... I wasn't born around that time and all like that, but from the stories I've been hearing, I was born in the 90s. I was born in 1990, you know, and what's the name? Stop doing comedy, stand-up comedy in the 80s, you know, and he started, he took over the the, the movie career, the movie role for the long because he knew that's money at, and that's, let's be honest, that's it is for the money at, but that's it's, it's not after a while bro if you not funny no more or you can't find no more acting roles or they pitching roles to you or they it, 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 you you it, it takes a lot bro to do a movie it takes a lot because you're not the same person that you used to be when you used to do stand-up comedy you know stand-up comedy you can let loose and you can be wherever you want to be when you're making movies you can't be wherever you want to be you got to be this cast and direct they want you to be you know and me personally, man, I was Calvin Hart. I wouldn't say that. I would have just, hey, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't look at it with another person got going on, what they doing in life, and I just want to focus on me or what I'm trying to do in life. Look, the one thing that Dwayne Johnson and other people don't get is, is stand up copy. You know, they can't stand on stage for a whole hour to to make people laugh. They just don't get it. They got to write on the director to pitch a role to them to make them funny, you know. <laughs> it's not COVID-19. I definitely apologize for the for sneezing in your ear, in your face, man. Might have to let it out, bro. I'm sorry about that. But, man, look. Like I said, it's my opinion. I understand my hand, bro. But I'm going to say, Kevin Hart, it's a little bit too early for you talking about you want to uh, stop doing stand-up comedy, bro. You know, those those are real fan base. These movie fan base is just with the moves. 
if the movie hot, they gonna watch you. They gonna fuck with you. If your movie not, they gonna block you. They gonna get rid of you, bro. They not gonna be there. You know, you know. Or piss your dick, bro. Okay, I won't necessarily say this, bro. I won't necessarily say stop doing stand up comedy. Okay, I understand if you want to do that stand up comedy how you used to start up. No, you ain't gotta do it like that. But if you do the stand, if if you go the route like how Dave Chappelle doing with Netflix, you know. It's not that too many people, but he's still getting that movie role money, you know, you know, uh, doing stand up, bro. You, you should do that. Take the Netflix deal. Why you high, bro? Netflix going to be here forever. And all, all Netflix going to do is grow over time. It's going to be more innovative over time, bro. It's, and Netflix not going nowhere, bro. Netflix not going nowhere. Lowe's, HBO, Showtime, Encore. And all these other uh, channels or uh, uh, media companies that everybody used to watch on TV and stuff like that, bro. Long as they had, Netflix ain't going nowhere. Netflix, Hulu, I said Hulu, Hulu, and other companies that's not that big, not you know, not big as them, you know, they ain't going to go nowhere, bro. Long as they keep their prices low. But if they continue to move their prices up, people going to let go of them and go to the next thing that's smoke, you know. So I would say, if I was Kevin Hart, I'd take the role. You no, know, I, I want too much shot away from stand-up comedy, and you know, especially if I want to do, if I want to grow my career in movies. But I want stand up too much of that. But bro, I would take the deal that Dave Chappelle took, bro. Dave Chappelle got a sweet deal, and he don't deal with that much people, bro. You know, you know, he just do a couple, he just do episodes here and there. Someone be 30 minutes, someone be an album, and then he just add his bi biography, bro. And he make millions. I'm quite sure Dave Chappelle make it either close or more money than he made with uh uh Comedy Central, bro. I'm quite sure Netflix gave that man a great deal. A great deal. And he ain't doing half the shit he had to do with Comedy Central. You know? They pretty much let that man go free and be him. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. We got the money. We got the people. You, you, you ain't got to worry about nothing. You know? Because if, if you ever watch uh, one of Dave Chappelle Netflix shows, uh, Stand Up Comedy, bro, he talk about whatever. He say whatever. You know? He say whatever. Kevin Hart, that's a sweet deal for you, bro. I'll be trying to piss up. Bro, Netflix high, bro. I'll be trying to get a deal with Netflix, bro. If I was you. I was you, bro. If, if, if you want to be set for the rest of your life, bro, and you always want to continue to get paid, bro, strike a deal with Netflix, bro. And, you know, strike a deal with Netflix. Get something going on with Netflix, bro. And you'll be straight. Your family will be straight for the rest of your life, bro. You know, don't get too big in the movie roles because, look, bro, all them big wrestlers that you see, you know, Brock Lass, not Brock Lass, uh, what's his name, man? No, it's not. Which one is Brock Lesnar? Brock Lesnar, the big dude, they went to USC. I can't even think of But all, all them actors that you see now, bro, that's all they can do, bro. They all can do is kid movies and kill it. That's all they can do. Kid movies and kill it. Kid movies and kill it. And then after a while, bro, after four or three, after uh, the best is about four or five years, they go. They go. Because it's no, it's, 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 it's no other uh Boobies they can do, you know. That's how you see the way Johnson is doing: either killing boobies or or uh, kid boobs. And you you'll be like, well, he did he did some adult movies, nah, no, bro. And he still lady with some type of kid was in a role somewhere in it, or he still had to kill somebody, bro. You know, he he, bro, he. This is was I mean, I said not this was to uh. The rock, the way Johnson know he can't never do a role like how Denzel Washington do many roles. He can't never get a role like that because he not built for it. You know, he not built for that role, bro. You know, they made him a gentle giant. You know, so that's all he gonna always look like to the public eye. You know, right. It's cool though, man. But I, I would say that strike a deal with Netflix and make something happen with that. Netflix hot, bro. Netflix hot. Netflix. 
like Dan and taking that. I don't know how many views they, how many viewers they got, but they got a lot, bro. They got a lot, and they got plenty upon plenty upon plenty of money, bro. And they not selling out to nobody, no time soon, bro. You know, they 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 not they they not gonna fuck with no corporation, bro. You know. Like bro, they they whoever it is that own it, you know, I'm doing my research. They not they not they not looking for nobody no time soon to buy them out or sell to. You know, they doing too good, bro. You know, and they pretty much they allowing everything to come through. You know, some bro, if you see some of the movies they be putting on there, you like, damn, this movie shit. But then they got some type of T V shows going. They, they got more TV shows that go harder than the movies now, you know. Because they be trying to strike up deals. They be trying to get uh, agreements, rights, and stuff like that, you know, to get movies out there. But when you're going against another entity or another corporation, but, you know, you just not, you just not going to get that deal you want, bro. You know, so they pretty much, they settle. They use regular people. They use people who, from what? From, from, I'm the outside looking in. I don't know, but they using right now. They using people who could get into Hollywood or who movie wasn't that good and stuff like that. They putting them back on, bro. You know, and they giving them a deal. You know, so they first stop stop looking at the the big movies and the big TV shows and all that shit. And they say, "Fuck it, bro. We just create our own." You know, you're used to telling us already out there. We're using people who couldn't get into Hollywood. You know. You know, we will really use them and put them on. You know, and you, you can't knock that, bro. You, like, bro, I, I can't never knock what Netflix doing, bro. You know, but I watch Netflix all the time, bro. Shit, I watch that shit when I'm asleep. You know, like, that's what I said, bro. I was you, Kevin Hart, bro. I do it like that, man. I definitely do it like that, bro. You know. You know, I want. I, I just want. I just want to let go the retirement like that, and then get caught up in these movies, and then trying to come out on Saturday night, Saturday night live, and still trying to be funny. You know, you, you know, bro, like you, like you got that image. So Eddie Murphy can never be. The, Eddie Murphy can never be funny how he used to be funny when he first came out. He can't never be that person no more, bro. You know. His image is this nice guy, you know. <laughs> you know, he, he been making all these kid movies and cops movies and action movies. He can't flat out say what he want to say no more, bro. He gonna mess up his reputation, you know. That man got over, I think, is it close to thirty years or thirty years over thirty years uh, doing built that image that he got. He can't let he can't just go on stage and say whatever. People are gonna be shot. He's gonna lose all types of endorsements and everything, bro. You know, especially that mega million dollar house he got somewhere in Hollywood or Beverly Hills. You know, he ain't stupid, man. He knew what he had to do to get that, bro. So he's not gonna mess it up. You know? You know, and don't get it wrong, I know it's a part of him because he wouldn't be a part of, but he gotta go to the bro, look. Black people hit a certain light, a certain level in life, especially in this comedy world, and they feel like Saturday Night Live is the start of. But in reality, Saturday Night Live is the water down. It's backed up. It's, it's the watered down version of Dev Jam and any other black comedian company that came out before them or after them. It's a watered down version. They just gonna stay out longer because they got the power. They can do what they want to do, you know. But it's watered down. It's a, it's, it's, it's a backup, you know. You know that's 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 not real comedy. It's not real funny. Like whoever get on that show, you know, it's like it's it's watered down. Like, it's, it's 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 only made for those viewers. I'm gonna say it like that way, bro. And ain't no ain't, ain't no disrespect to them and like that. But it's it's only made for the viewers who can understand that type of comedy. You know, you know, you know, it's just watered down and shit. And that's very few come on there and try to do their own thing and make it different, you know, but you can't, you know, you're going to end up going back to the watered down verse. You know, it's it's not funny over there, you know, you know, 
when everything fails, that's when you go back over there, pretty much. And take that check, whatever they give me. You know? Yeah, the check decent and nice, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it to keep doing it every day of your life. If you're starting off, yeah, but if you already made it to mainstream, you don't you don't have to come back to that show. But some people do, you know. Or it's in their contracts, you know. You know, me me personally, Kevin Hart started off, I see you there, bro. I just don't want you to go back, bro. You shouldn't go back to Saturday Night Live. You know, before you go back to Saturday Night Live, why you hide now, why you at your prime now, why you doing big things and making money and all that stuff like that, bro. You need to slide on to Netflix. And you get a better deal, a sweeter deal, and at the same amount, you get in royalties. You want to get to the point, you get in royalties, cars, you coming in 24 7, 7 days a week. Each time somebody go watch your views, you should be getting paid off of Netflix. You know, I'll be doing that, bro. If it's me. If it's me, I'll be striking the deal with Netflix, bro. I won't be wasting time, bro. You know, that's all I want to say, man. You know, uh, you know, I ain't want too much to put everything on you know, the book. Captain Hart, bro, uh, I understand you want to retire because of the pandemic, and you're not going to sell out as much seats as you want to. And you look at the du uh, Dwayne Johnson, you know, his swole neck ass, you know, his big ass arms, you know, his bummy body legs, you know. You probably look at him like, bro, how does he get all these roles and these and, – and all these movies, and he's not a great actor, you know, like, you know, I wouldn't be looking at him, I'd be looking at myself, and I'm going to switch up and go up over here, because at the end of the day, I'm still funny, so I can go to, I can go to, uh, I can keep doing, I can continue doing uh, stand-up comedy, you know, and I can go to Netflix, and just be funny all I want, have less people there, and make it, and, and, and make a show, you know, that's all I'm saying. I'm up, boy. Like and subscribe. It's your boy, yeah, man. Hopefully you like the video, man. You know, hopefully I'll talk to some people something. Hopefully some, somebody learns something from me, you know. I agree. Hopefully oh, hopefully get the Kevin Hart, you know. You know, he, he do strike a deal with Netflix, you know. I'm just putting that out there in the universe. And if you do if you do strike a deal with Netflix, you know, just know that this video will put it out there, bro. Because I be saying a lot of stuff, bro. And it's, it worked, bro, you know, because I don't think it's just me saying it. It might be somebody else. But right now, I'm saying it, and I'm putting it out there because I don't be on YouTube 24 7, 7 days a week, bro, you know. And when I do, I'm on there watching my stuff on how to build my stuff, bro, you know. Every now and then, I go watch somebody else's video. But me personally, I don't think somebody else out here talking the same way I'm talking, you know, because I'm the one. Was missing. I kept missing something about Gucci Man and Jeezy, you know. And all of a sudden, they making it happen, you know. Like, bro, uh, and I'm still missing about Bust Around and uh, Rock Kim. You know, Bust Around wanted to go against Ti and Rock by in versus Rock. I'm like, bro, that's not a good fit, bro. Ti is not a battle rapper, bro, at all, not at all. I'm I'm quite sure Ti is confused about what he is, bro. Cause he leaning on towards politics, and then he leaning on towards black. He just he, he everywhere. He everywhere. You know, he's just everywhere. You know, if the man just kept his mouth closed, he don't know who he is. But since he just continued to open up his mouth, he tried to put his input on everything, so he don't know who he are, bro. You know, like I said, bust around. You should, bro. If you were to declare yourself a real, a true legend, and you got bars, you got lyrics, you got all this, bro. You have to step up to the great. You have to step up to the great. You, remember, you came out when they was hot or, 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 or when they was slowing down a little bit, bro. You know? You know, you put some money out, bro. I, I truly believe Rock Kim will go and get you, bro. You know? Rock Kim, Chaos One. You know, you put some money out towards these people, bro. I think they, bro, because they still up. They they not dead or nothing. So they, they show on you. That you can have no, not no jeopardy. You, you can have a long life with the rap game. You know, you don't have to end up like everybody else who's taking this route and they died. You know, they show me because they still alive. They still alive. They still getting views. They still making money. You know, but everybody want to listen to what YKM got to say, bro. Everyone, 
everyone, bro. You know, from the old to the new. You know, like bro, like bro. If you want to declare yourself the one, the legend, uh, from the old school generation to the new school generation, you have to go against the old school, bro. Then work yourself up to the new generation. And you can't go against whoever name is little. You know, you got to go against people who who name themselves for a reason, bro. You know, like you got to go against the J. Coles, the Kennedy Lamarts. Like, bro, you got to go against people like that. You know, you, and, 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 and you come on top, that's how you do it. That's how you get the more followers you need, the more views you need and all that. But you gotta you but you gotta go, bro. You you, you move forward, bro. No, bro, you you have to go back. People gotta know who you are, bro. Too many people don't know who Russell Ryan is, bro. That's why he only have a million views. You know. You know, you know, and he, let me know he got some young and some old, but he got mostly old, bro. The old know who he is, bro. You know. From the nineties, the two thousand, you know, from two thousand from 2000, 2005 to 2010, 2015, those people know who you are. From 2016, 2017, 2018, 2017, they, they, they don't know what, 2020, and about to be 2021, they don't know who you are. You know? This is to you with a lot of views, big as hell, swole neck, bro, spit, like spitting on things, bro, when you talk, you know? I saw you slow down when you talk now. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. They, they don't know that old bus of rhymes, bro. You know? They, 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 they don't know, bro. You know? So that's why you have to that's why you have to start with the legends. You know? And I say, bro, you gotta go through them, bro. You know, enjoy yourself, have a good time. But you gotta make it a point why they call you the legend. You know? You know, I was you, bro, I'll be trying to do a virtual video. With Rock Cam, then after that chaos one, they, and then whoever else, uh, I, I, I go against them, and then I start moving up. But I gradually start going, moving up from the two thousand. I start going against Twister, you know. So I start, whoever else, whoever else, Eminem, whoever else came, I start going against. I I I, I write a list of the people that's hot, that just that's hot in the past and hot right now. You know, whoever's still making interviews and stuff like that, you know, I'm, I'm going against them. I'm wiping them down, bro. I'm targeting them, you know. Then I'll move on, you know. Then then, then you declare that. Then, then, then you got to, then you watch your views and everything come up. Then you watch your money start coming up, bro. You don't have to work that shit hard, bro. You don't you have to worry about the publicity getting it out there. Or you constantly talking about it 24-7. Somebody else talking about it for you. I feel like, oh man, you know what Buster Ryan did to Rock Kim or or or, 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 or the close battle that he had with Rock Kim, you know? No. And then when he did him and Twister, then and then, then him busy balling up, you know, he you know he, he like he on him, bro. You know? You know, he went up against Method Man and them, like bro, like I was like, you gotta go down the line, bro. You gotta bring them people out of retirement. You gotta get at them, bro. You have to get up. You gotta go down the line, bro. You know? You got to. You gotta do it that way, bro. It's only right. It's only right for you to do that. It's only right. It's only right. You know? And then once you're done with that, bro, then you get 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And whoever, whoever feel like they're, like they're about it, go and get them. Call them out. That's how you supposed to do it, bro. You know? You you want it straight out to T.I. Like, bro, T.I. know for the body. Because T.I. know he can't. T.I. know he ain't no battle rap. T.I. battle people like Mike Jones, Slim Thug, uh, uh, I can't even think of that dude name, man. Yang Yang Twins, you know. Uh, 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 I bet you can't do it like me. Nope, doing them. Uh, 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 what's his name? Lil Flip. You know, T.I. can battle people like that. T.I. can't battle nobody like Jeezy, you know, bro. You know, he, he's, he's not in on the battle like that, bro. You know. 
Seattle is not a battle rapper, bro. You know, they going to get hot. They want to do something. It's, so it's not in them to battle rap. You know, some people don't know how to take certain words, bro. They hit them, bro. You know, some people don't know how to take when you're talking about their wife and their kid. You know, they, they don't know how to take that, bro. You know, but that's what better up, like, bro, you, no, no, bad, you don't battle everybody. You ever represent you a party, you are talking about them. You know, and some people don't know how to deal with that, bro. You know, T.I. don't know how to deal with somebody talking about his wife up close in front of his face like that. He gonna have a problem with that. You know, even, even, even if y'all not serious, he gonna be serious to him, bro, because he knew where he married and had kids back. You know, you know, you know, her whole family said, like, like they, I don't know why they made it so look like, uh, Miss Piggy, you know, you know, I'm just saying, I'm going to go ahead and like and subscribe to your boy, uh, man, I was supposed to bang it off of this, man, but you see, I go all day on this, man, it's like 40 minutes and 53 seconds now, I'm gone.